Hey, my name is Jacob Slayton. I'm a commercial photographer here in Little Rock, Arkansas. My style has been described as dramatic, sort of a quiet portrait kind of a style. Um, I really like to shoot environmental portraits, so it's a subject with some element in the of their story, of their background, or maybe their profession in the shot. Hey guys, my name is Caleb Shane. I am 22 years old. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Started shooting about a year ago. My kind of style of photography, mostly natural light. I shoot more portraits, um, whether it's from weddings to senior sessions or models trying to make it. I was actually a commercial construction project manager uh, here in Little Rock for three years. I wouldn't have any fun with it. I have a degree in construction management, but uh, I always wanted to pursue photography. And about six years ago, I had the opportunity to just go for it. Got started shooting weddings, families, kids, that kind of thing. And then pretty quickly moved into more um, commercial type work, um, editorial type stuff. I've shot for the New York Times and Reuters. Uh, whenever they need stuff in Arkansas. Today I'm on Photo Throwdown to kind of be stretched, learn new things, and just be around awesome, talented people. I heard about Photo Throwdown uh, just seeing Facebook posts and people kind of just some internet buzz about it and everything. It sounded like a really cool deal. I love the idea of collaborating with other photographers, sort of seeing what other people do, and I always learn something from everybody that I ever work with. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what Caleb has to offer, uh, maybe learn some tricks from him, and we'll see what happens. What's up, boys? What's up, man? How's it going, Jacob? Good, how are you? Caleb? How's it going? Welcome to Photo Throwdown Little Rock. Thanks. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. You should be. So in traditional Photo Throwdown form, we're going to hit you guys today with a mini challenge. We're going to hit you with a full-on challenge. You might get refocused somewhere along the line, so how are you boys feeling about that? I don't, I don't know what you're going to throw at me, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's exactly. awesome. That's awesome. All right, boys, so your challenge today is an on-location commercial shoot. You're gonna have 15 minutes each to execute it, and we got you a little guidebook to uh, awesome. aid in your <laughs> endeavors. Great. If you will. Yay. He hands us a book about ballet, which is something I am nowhere near <laughs> experienced in. I got this. All right, boys, you have your challenge, you got some literature. Uh, and here at Photo Throwdown, we're all about education. So we're gonna go on a little field trip. Field trips? Wow, man. Like growing up, going to another home school, I'm pretty excited about this. So uh, let's hit the road. Cool. Awesome. So Chris lets us know that we're gonna go on a little field trip. I guess I'm about to shoot some dancers. Let's see how this goes. What's up, boys? What's up? Welcome. We are at Little Rock's premier dance school, Rock City Dance Center. I see trophies everywhere, I see plaques on the wall. There's mirrors everywhere, it's like weird lighting. We're hanging out with Ali, hey. Jacob, Jacob, Caleb. So I don't know how well versed you guys are in shooting dance or just dance in general. I don't know if you're up to terms on your lingo and what happens there. So instead of these cameras right now, we're gonna have you put them down. And Ali's gonna run you through little bits of a dance class. I'm gonna hand you over to Ali. Uh, I'll take those from you because it is obvious that you will not be needing them. I did not sign up for this at all. Right now I'm really kind of regretting agreeing to be on this show. Have a good time, guys. Okay, see you, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna torture you. Go ahead and uh, take your shoes off, yeah. probably. Okay. It's gonna be kind of stinky. <laughs> so, first know. position, you're gonna basically make the letter B with your feet. Okay. And then we're gonna come out wider. We got a second position. Oh. Ali is showing us technique and stretches and how to okay. bend our knees, which wasn't working very well for me. Continue on down. No. We're in ground no. clean. <laughs> We're working out the leg muscles and stuff, doing these stretches and bends. I, I really want to be better than him at this. Beards and ballet, just they don't mix very well, man. Okay. So, yeah, great. There you go. Wow. Very nice. Okay, come down and check it out. Oh, yeah, that's a burn. I know we're shooting dancers and all, but I really just do not see the point in taking a ballet class. All right, thank you so much, Ali, for putting these guys through the ringer and let them see what you know the ballet moves are all about. <laughs> it's gonna really, really help them out, I think, in the shoot later on today. But right now, it's time to actually do some photography. We have the mini challenge. And so what we're gonna hit you with today is we're gonna head over to Muggs Cafe. You guys are gonna receive a camera from us with a Polaroid back, and in the spirit of Instagram, we're gonna have you shoot some food photography that's gonna best represent Mugs Cafe. Cool. But you only get two shots. 
Okay. I'm gonna give you one. If you mess it up, you get one more chance. And the winner will be the recipient of the advantage for the full on challenge later on. So, you guys ready to get this thing going? Cool, yeah, yeah. sounds Let's good. Get on over to Muggs. Let's do it. Chris hits us with the mini challenge and a little nervous. Um, I've only worked with film, you know, a handful of times. I've shot a little bit of film in the past, never actually for clients, just for kind of a, as a hobby, for fun. Jacob's got to be in his 40s, so I'm assuming that he knows how to shoot some film. I'm 33. All right, guys, we're here at Mugs Cafe. It's time for the mini challenge. Uh, we have our RB67 Pro S. We've got a Polaroid back on it with some instant film for you guys to shoot. Remember, you're getting two shots. We have a latte and a pastry to photograph, and you can pick anywhere inside the cafe to actually choose from. The owner, Amanda, has been super generous, and she's going to do the judging. Uh, so make sure you set up your shot, get the shot that you want, make sure it's the best possible shot because the obvious winner of the mini challenge gets the advantage in the actual throwdown itself. So the only way that we're going to actually be able to have a fair chance of picking who gets to go first is uh, with a nice game of paper, rock, scissors. Oh, so yeah. cool. we're going to go on rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Right. And the winner chooses if they go first or second. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, three, two. Damn it. So I think I'm gonna have Jacob go. Jacob's okay. going first? All right. So pick up the behemoth okay. and uh, let's get this thing going. Let's do this. So Caleb decides I'm gonna go first so he has a little bit more time to prepare. That's cool, I don't need any more time to prepare. Hey guys, it's Chris Bain with Photo Throwdown and I'm here with some exciting news about Calumet Reynolds. They're back, they're under new ownership and they're better than ever. They've been totally awesome to us here at Photo Throwdown and hooking us up with the cameras, the lights, and the support equipment that we need to up our production, and they can help you up your production as well. So check them out at calumetreynolds.com. They give us a uh, pastry and a latte, and I've got this giant camera, I've gotta come up with something. So I'm not really sure what my plan is gonna be here. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. So uh, I'm gonna try this over by the window. I'm going to move this table over by the window and get a little bit of extra light. Hopefully they don't kick me out. I'm trying to maximize my light here, so since I only have two shots here, i got to do a lot of testing before I do this. I think that's going to give me enough light to uh, make something work here. Do you have any way that you're trying to compose this? Or... What I'm trying to do here is just get a really clear, sharp photo of these products that the owners will like because they're essentially the client in this challenge and I'm trying to please them. I definitely want to get the uh, logo on the mug here. Based on the light, I think this is my only chance for uh, getting a good exposure on it. I'm shooting at 4.0, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of background details in there anyway. I think that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this shot as soon as I take this dark slide out. And here we go. All right, time will tell, I guess. I like that shot, man. I think it's gonna be cool. It's, I've got these nice colorful backgrounds going on, but it's nice and blurry. Hopefully it's a solid sort of product food photo. Oh, shoot. I just realized I didn't reset the shutter speed. <laughs> I just blew this shot completely. It's gonna be way blown out. Oh no, uh, I, that's why you get that second shot, right? Just in case something goes awry. I took the light meter reading and I just thought it was in the camera. So, what, man? that's all right. We'll see, we'll see what I'm glad I'm waiting to see. Let's take a look and see what it looks like here. See what happened. Yeah. Way overexposed. Um, I think I'm gonna pull in a little bit tighter for the next shot. Um, and uh, actually changed my shutter speed on the camera. So let's go for round two here. Let's go round two. Good luck, man. Thanks. So now I'm shooting at a 60th of a second. Getting ready to shoot that. All right, here goes. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah, it's much better. A little dark. I like the logo. I'm glad I cheated it up a little bit in the back. You can see a little bit more of the pastry. I wish I had more background going on, but I'm happy with that. Awesome shot, dude. Thanks, man. Awesome shot. Hopefully it'll uh, be enough to win it. <laughs> awesome. I really dig the light up here, and I dig the vibe and the feel for everything. 
but I'm actually, there's a motorcycle in the back, and the owner, Michael, is really into that, so I'm thinking maybe of incorporating the motorcycle in the back with the shot. Okay, so I know it's a little bit darker in the back, um, and it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for me, but I feel like it'd be awesome to just have a different approach towards the photo since I know that Jacob was shooting all up front. Like I said, you can move stuff around, don't drop it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know up front I could get a shot because it's so bright up there, but back here it's just, it's a little dark. I don't, maybe I'll try it, I'll try it. You have two shots. Yeah, I do have two shots. I don't think the light's gonna work. Can, oh, can maybe get the light right where I want it here, but not on the bike. Jeez. I'm liking it in camera. Yeah, that is very shallow. <laughs> oh my gosh. You think you've committed? You think you're ready to take that first shot? <laughs> okay. Taking this vibe. Hmm. Wonder if I can. <sighs> well, the shutter, the shutter speed's so low that I can't handhold it. But now it's just shooting a little bit too far down, so I probably need to just crop the camera up a little bit. We'll see what this looks like. Oh, there we go. Okay, almost there. <laughs> All right, so I think, I'm, I think I'm set up for my shot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get that light meter. All right, I'm gonna go down to 15 a second. Man, we're gonna go for it. And see if, see if it's everything I want. Pull this out. Fire. There it is. There she is, man. There's the oh, first shot. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Oh, man. And just let her relax for a second. <laughs> Don't shake it like a polar. If it looks anything like it did in there, then I love it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's dark. Oh, crap. Is this fully developed? Yep. Are you going to retake the well, shot? Or you think I can either retake it or I can go a different route. I mean, it's just, you can't, you can't make that out at all. So the biggest thing that he has working against him right now is the inverse square lock. Nerd alert! And what that's saying is, the closer you are to the light source, the faster your background's gonna fall off. And so that's exactly what's happening to him with his motorcycle shot. He's exposing for that, the light, and he's moved closer to try to get the motorcycle in focus a little bit more. But what's happening now that he's closer to that, that light's falling off exponentially faster than it would be uh, if you backed up. If the light source was much further away, then as the light source gets further away, it actually starts falling off a lot slower. So that's just what he's fighting right now is the, the fact that he's losing that light at such a high rate of speed. I got one shot left. Just uh, shot my first one and it is a little bit underexposed. Um, kind of nervous of what this next shot's gonna look like. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm tripping out right now. So what I think I'm gonna do, um, maybe just redo the shot and then maybe try to work in a burst of flash from, I don't know, a phone or something. Let's just try, let's try something like this. If you wanna hold it maybe here. Okay, let's try that. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> There she is. Oh, I'm just hoping there's more light in this one. Oh, okay, let's go. Got this. Oh, I took it with the black card. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, definitely messed that shot up. Oh man. And that is not being educated on film. Now that I messed my second image up and I know that I only have one image to submit. It may not be exactly what I want, but uh, you know, the light's not too bad and it's in focus. Maybe it'll catch her eye and she'll say yes to my photo. Hey Amanda, so Hi. we're here with Caleb and Jacob and they took, they have their shots right here. Uh, wow, I really like both of them. Um, I like this one a little better because the, you can see the mugs cafe a little better. Really am leaning toward this one, even though the mugs is not. Mm. I'm gonna say this one. It was close, guys, but the winner, the winner is clearly Jacob. 
I won the mini challenge, which is awesome. I'm really excited about the advantage that I'm going to get for the main challenge. Thank you so yeah, much. It was thank wonderful. Thank you. All right, boys. All right. So, Jacob, yeah. looks like you're the, uh, the mini challenge advantage winner. I'm a little bummed that I lost this challenge, but honestly, really excited to move on to the main challenge, and I'm just going to get in there and do the best that I can. Get up here, guys. All right, so we're at the historic Dreamland Ballroom here in Little Rock. Just to remind you of what your challenge is, it's an on-location shoot with dancers. You have 15 minutes to complete the shoot. You can shoot them however you want, but you only have 15 minutes. All right, Jacob, so I know you're dying to know what advantage you gained from the mini challenge. So here it is. It's a chalkboard. Okay. A little bit of chalk for some writing. Great. Pretty awesome, right? Thanks. What am I supposed to do with the chalkboard? I know you're dying to know exactly what kind of an advantage that is. So let me tell you what it is because it's refocus time. All right, boys. So your refocus is you have no verbal communication with the dancers whatsoever. Okay. Okay, this chalkboard's gonna be really nice to have. <laughs> what am I going to do? You can tell them what you want them to do, but you can't use your mouth. But I can use the chalkboard. But you can use the chalkboard. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> there you go, boys. What? You've been refocused. Awesome.